סיוון רותם, שלום. שלום, ביאן. And welcome to Culture Buzz. סיוון, I guess we have to thank Argentina and the violin for having such a great soprano in Israel. Thank you very much. Well, I think this, of course, Argentina, because I was born in Buenos Aires, and this is a really a wonderful opportunity to sing in Spanish, you know? And, and the violin also. And Latino too? And Latino too, of course, of course. And the violin too, because it really, it tunes your ears, you know? To be able to really sing well, you need to have a very good ear. And this is what you need when you play the violin too, yes. Mm -hmm. So the violin world's loss, is the opera world's game. Oh, <laughs> thank you. But you know something, I never felt that I could really uh, express myself uh, with the violin the way I express myself with a voice, you know? Because it had to go through an instrument. And with a voice, it's so immediate. It comes directly from your heart, you know? Uh -huh. And for me, it feels much better. Very interesting. <laughs> and your uh, debut, debut performance, was with the Israeli Philharmonic under the baton of Zubin Mehta. That's true, yes. And since then, you have been singing all over the world. That's true. With the best of uh, orchestras in the most prestigious venues. Yes. How important is for you to include in your repertoire Israeli music Yes, it is really very important. As a matter of fact, each time I have the opportunity to choose the repertoire, I always include some songs in Yiddish, in Ladino, and in Hebrew. Because I really feel that I'm an ambassador of uh, the State of Israel. I feel very privileged to be able to tour the world and uh, through the singing to express the emotions of our nation. You know, it is really marvelous. And Culture Buzz uh, definitely believes firmly believes that Israeli artists and performers are indeed the best ambassadors we can have. Mm, yes. I wanted to ask you, uh, Sivan, uh, about your CD. You have a CD in Spanish which you dedicated to Giacomo Mayor Bill. Oh no, no, we are mixing here two CDs. Okay. The recently uh, CD that I've just made is really a CD that uh, was released by Naxos and it is dedicated to the songs of Giacomo Meyerbeer that was a Jewish composer, okay. that was the, the king of the opera in the 19th century in Paris. Wonderful. Yes, he was born as Yaakov Be'er, that was his uh -huh. Hebrew name, you know, and he was very famous at that time and he was also the teacher of Richard Wagner. And this is an amazing story because he really supported Wagner and helped him to put his first opera, Rienzi, on stage. But eventually, after he stopped, you know, uh, supporting him, so Wagner came out and wrote a very antisemitic yeah. uh, article about him, about Mendelssohn, about their inability to really write music properly. Right. So this is, for me, it is a wonderful opportunity to really show the beauty of not only his operas, of the common but his songs. He wrote more than 200 songs. Wow. And so this uh, CD is dedicated to him. These are songs in uh, German, in Italian, and in French. So I is... mixed up another CD that Because, you, yes. you came out with in Spanish. That's true. The other CD, which both of them are with a wonderful pianist, Jonathan Zak, mm. that is my professor Great. from many years ago in Indeed. the Music Academy. And this is dedicated to the Spanish music, Spanish and Ar Argentinian music. It's called Viva el amor, which is, uh, you know, we are really uh, hailing the love. love, love all over the world. The most important thing. That's true. This is what moves the world, yes. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you, Sivan, when you look around and you have a look at the Israeli opera's world, if we can describe it as a world, a small world, and your colleagues, uh, that sing opera. How will you describe it? Uh, how, how are we doing when it comes to opera singing in Israel? 
I think we are doing very well. I think we have a wonderful opera house, you know, very elevated, very high standard. Under Hannah Moniz? Under Hannah Moniz. The one and only? The one and only, exactly, which is really, it is wonderful. Um, I think that um, also, you know, for me as an artist, the most important thing is to dedicate my activities not only to opera, but also as a soloist with big orchestras, and as you see here with chamber music, because this gives me a wonderful opportunity uh, of a vast repertoire, you see. So I really combine the three genres, both opera, I mean opera, uh, concerts, and recitals. Wonderful. <clears throat> and since you have accomplished so much already, I don't know if it would be fair to ask you about your dream when you look to the future. What is it more that you would like to achieve, to accomplish? Well, you know, there is still a lot of uh, repertoire that I haven't sung yet or I haven't recorded yet. So, of course, there are these dreams and also there are so many cities that I still haven't uh, visited. A it? few. A few, yes, <laughs> yes. So I would love to go there and really to be the ambassador, the Israeli ambassador in those cities too. Yes, of course, so I have dreams and, you know, and when you focus on the dreams, so they come true. This is what I, you know, I can tell you from my experience. You are the living proof of that. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe the most uh, important question for us in Culture Buzz uh, will be when you perform and you sing such an extensive repertoire, a wide repertoire, and we know that music is a universal language. What still makes you unique because you are an Israeli? Oh, this is quite a question, you know. I don't know whether it makes me unique because I'm an Israeli, but it makes me unique because I'm an artist, you see, because each song that you take, each aria, and each um, role in an opera, it goes through uh, really our spectrum, I mean, how we do as artists, you know, your inner world, your soul, your emotions. And you, if you take the same repertoire and you listen to different singers, you will see that each one performs it differently. So right. this is what is so wonderful about it. I'm not sure whether it has to do with being Israeli, but it has to do with being, you know, an artist. And you look at things differently. And this is what is so interesting, you know, about singing so many different... Uh, I mean, such a variety of repertoire. So maybe the answer will be what makes you unique when you perform is that you insist of having Israeli components in your repertoire. When I can, and it's not always, you know, sometimes they When it's possible. Me. Yes, of course. Uh, what about if there is a favorite uh, piece? Me musical piece, a favorite composer, a favorite opera? Yes, of course. Well, a favorite composer, I must tell you, is Mozart for me. He's really the most, you know, he's amazing what he wrote, how he really was so connected to the human soul, to the feelings, you know, so much humor also. It is so wonderful put together the lyrics, the words with his music. It's really fascinating and I believe Mozart, to sing Mozart properly, is like a kind of x-ray for the artist, you know, because it really, it is very transparent. You really know whether the artist is in good shape or not when he sings Mozart. And I feel very much attached to his music. And regarding a rose, uh, one of my dreams was to sing Violetta in La Traviata and I really achieved this in the opera in Seattle, you know? And it was really a dream come true. Congratulations. And thank you, thank you. And these are those moments that when you are on stage, you forget that you are you, but it, you're, you're really elevated to other spheres by the wonderful music, you know, and the wonderful um, theatrical situation. This is what I felt when I sang a Violetta in La Traviata. So these are the moments we are looking for, you know, as artists, yes, to be elevated to other spheres and to communicate through this to our audience. Because when you are in that state, also the audience is very, is very attached, very interested to see what's going on, you know. These are the magic moments. We are conducting this interview in the Augusta Victoria Church. Yes. 
which explains the wonderful echo. Mm -hmm, that's true. And you have just concluded a wonderful performance with a, one of Israel's greatest virtuoso when it comes to the guitar, Baldi Olier. Yes. How is it for you to work and perform with Baldi? Well, it is a wonderful experience. We've been working together for more than 20 years, wow. you know, which is quite fascinating. We toured um, also Austria, Vienna and Graz. We even sang in Egypt, in Cairo, Fantastic. in the celebration of the 20th anniversary of Israel and Egypt uh, peace. You this know, is fantastic. This is really fantastic. And so these are all very, very unique moments. And for me, Baldi is really a wonderful performer. And it gives me the wonderful opportunity to sing in Spanish, but something that is more popular, that is more, you know, outgoing. And it's so free. And we kind of also um, do things in the moment. Although we plan it ahead of time, there is this freedom that is going on on stage with him. You know, that usually you don't have it with other artists because you sing according to the scores that are written, you know. So this is a wonderful opportunity to sing with Baldi Olier and I really hope to be able to tour with him other cities in the world and of course continue singing here in Israel. Wonderful. And I can tell by the reaction of the audience, it was a full house, that uh, indeed it was a spectacular performance. Thank you. Uh, both of you. Thank you. So Sivan, I guess uh, this is the time and place to thank you very much for what you have already accomplished, to wish you all the best in the future, and indeed to repeat what we have discussed, that you are one of the best ambassadors that Israel has. Thank you very much, and very privileged. Thank, Thank you. you very much, good luck. <laughs>